What's up, stars? What's up, my Hollywood stars? Hey, man. Um, I'm just coming out of the clinic right now, man, because um, I don't, I can't remember if I filmed it any before, but um, I went. This is a beautiful day, by the way, guys. You can see the sunshine is out. Um, I don't know how how many degrees it is, but they said it's supposed to be in the 60s today. But uh, it's 9:30 in the morning, man, and uh, it's a beautiful day, guys. Let me tell you, it's it's a it, even if it was raining, it would be a beautiful day. But the reason why I came to the clinic, guys, I'm sitting here walking. I'm not going to get in the car yet. I'm just going to enjoy this weather for a second while I'm talking to you guys. The reason why I came to the clinic, because six weeks ago when I had a bad cold, you know, it was kind of getting to me, man. My chest was all inflamed and, you know, you know how it is. So you don't know if you got pneumonia, the flu or whatever. But um, when I came... You know, they gave me some antibiotics and they took a chest x-ray. Well, they told me to come back. Well, they said my chest was clear at the time. But then I got a call at work when I went to work. And they said that I need to come back in six weeks for a follow-up. Let me turn this way. The sun is affecting my face here. They wanted me to come back for a follow-up. So I'm like, man, why do I need to come back for a follow-up? Well, I find out today as I'm coming back to the appointment, they saw a little, a little dense black spot, a little light black spot on my lung. So uh, on my right lung, on the outside, they say normally when they see stuff on the outside of the lung, you know, the lining of the lung, it's not a good sign. So, and then when they told me that, I was, oh crap. So they wanted to see if it got any bigger or you know what's going on with it it could be the result from when i had my cold i don't know if you guys can see me or not man but i'm just walking around anyway um but i just got a report guys and she showed me the x-ray of my last x-ray and the one today that spot is gone so they say there must have been a result sometime a, a rib can overline a little bit or the lighting or you know and it just could be you know, from my uh, chest congestion, congestion when I was sick. So, so that's good news, guys. That is good news. That's a good report. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, anytime my message is, she told me a lot of people ignore those follow-ups. They go, oh, I'm not coming back. And then a year or two years later, they find out they got cancer or they have some kind of disease that they could have caught back then and it wouldn't have been no problem so guys whenever your doctor tells you to follow up they want to check again go do it don't ignore it don't don't ignore anything about your, your your health man don't ignore anything when she told me that i said what now she just told me there was a guy about a year ago she said no she said two years ago they they told him he was a smoker and they told him he needs to follow up in six weeks because she said that's normally a good time they can see a little small growth they can tell if it's grown or not in six weeks they don't want to tell you to come back in six months because it might you know they want to catch it as early as possible so they said six weeks is a good time they can see some difference from the whatever they see that they want to follow up on and she said that's how we we do prevention that's how we catch things early well, that guy never came back. Two years later, he, he's been he been diagnosed as lung cancer, and he ain't going to last. It's too late. It's spread all through his lungs. It's going through his body and everything. He waited two years, and that cancer was growing and growing and growing. She said if he had it came back when he was supposed to, they could have got rid of it before it affected the rest of his body. So, guys, don't, don't ignore those things, man. So, that's Hollywood's message. That's Hollywood's message. Don't ignore those things. She and she said, I'm glad you didn't ignore it. She said it wasn't nothing serious. But I said, yeah, I'm not going to ignore anything about my, my health, man. Guys, when we talk about prevention, especially with cancer, they got to catch you early, guys. And with today's uh, technology <clears throat> and scientific studies, they can, they can get a lot of this stuff cured, man, if they catch it early. It's when it spreads through the body, they can't do anything, man. So... Uh, <clears throat> so man that's my message if you've never listened to anything Hollywood ever told you listen to this do not ignore the small things about your health if you got a cough and it's last more than a week go check it out 
If you have a headache and it lasts more than a week, go check it out. Don't ignore it. All these things about our bodies, especially when we get older, guys, don't ignore it. And my wife told me, she said, oh, it's probably nothing. You're healthy. And people always say you look younger, you're younger than you are. You Ain't nothing wrong with you. I said, sweetheart, I got to go get it checked. And I'm glad I did. Because mentally, those things can affect you knowing something could be wrong with you, right? We've all been through it, guys. We can have chest pains. We're wondering if it's our heart or whatever it is. So, guys, whenever you feel bad, if it lasts more than a week, go get it checked. All right? That's my message, and I will see you guys on the next episode.